Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are in a different location again. The location seems to change every video but I'm just trying to find a good filming background. I was going to film in front of my bookshelves but... So today's video is a recent reads video. I haven't actually done one of these before since becoming a booktuber. Yeah, I have read four books over the past, I think it's a month. Yeah, yeah, I'm counting these books over the past month. The first book that I have is On the Other Side by Carrie Hope Fletcher. I have mixed feelings about this book. I gave this book a 2.5. I don't think I've ever rated a book this low before on my Goodreads. Uh, I just I just didn't enjoy it and I'm really disappointed because I thought this was going to be something that I was really into but it just disappointed me. Wow we are starting this video negative. I promise the books get better as the video goes on. So this book is about the main character Evie Snow and she dies at 82 years old and to get into her own version of heaven she has to go into her previous life to get rid of any secrets that may have been on her mind throughout her whole life so her soul is light enough to carry her into essentially heaven. I thought this was going to be a really good idea and I think if the writing style was better and there were some bits in the book that weren't included this book had great potential but mm, <laughs> there's just a lot that I wasn't happy with. This book is magic realism but to put it more accurately I'd say it is realism with bits of magic sprinkled in where Carrie remembered and I know that sounds a bit harsh but the <laughs> this book just had a lot of problems and I'm going to go into those now. So the first problem that I have with this book was that I found Evie intolerable. I just did not like her as a main character and I know you're meant to like the main character but I just found her really annoying. I found her to be a goody two-shoes and didn't really have any flaws and I found that to be not believable at all. Everything she did she was like perfect at and I was just like girl you need some flaws. So I just didn't really like her as a character and the same goes for Vincent who is the main love interest. I also found him quite boring. I did like him a lot more than I liked Evie but Again, he didn't really have any flaws and I need, I need some characters with some depth. Going back to the magic realism part of the book, uh, it just wasn't believable. The, most of it was just her telling her life story and then in some bits there was a bit of magic in like it seemed like Evie had powers or something but it wasn't really explained like it was just placed into the book at random bits and I was really enjoying this book up until I think it was the third secret and people who have read this book I'm sure you know what I'm on about but I had to put the book down because I was just like nope nope <laughs> No, uh, I'm not going to say what it is because I don't want to give away spoilers just in case you do want to read this book but it was just so unbelievable and I was just like I can't go on reading this but I did power through and finish this book but yeah. I, although I have gone quite deep into this book I did enjoy the overall storyline of it like we thought of Eva going back into her past life to get rid of any secrets that she had like I thought that had great potential but I just didn't like the writing style of this I also found it to be really childish but like placed in I don't know if it's YA or adult but it was quite childish but it was like had like adult themes and I don't know it was confusing I did enjoy the overall theme of the book but just not the actual book <laughs> Next up we have possibly one of my favourite books I've ever read and it is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. As soon as I heard about this book I wanted to read it, it sounded straight in my alleyway. This is the first murder mystery I've ever really read and I am very grateful for it. Ellingham Academy is set in the mountains of Vermont 
and is founded by the multimillionaire Albert Ellingham dun dun dun. and this school offers a learning environment for students to come from all over the world I think it's the world or it might just be America but I believe it's all over the world um, to come and learn their specific interests without any limitations to their learning and Albert Ellingham believed that learning should be fun and it, that's exactly what the school is like like if I could go to a school I would go here apart from all the murders like if all the murders could be chopped out I would love to go to this school so the main character in this book is Stevie Bell and her main interest is to crack the Ellingham case the Ellingham case was in 1936 and Albert Ellingham's daughter and wife got kidnapped and the only thing that was left behind was a ransom note Stevie has an insane interest in true crime and detectives and she would like to become a te detective when, she, when she's older and this is just the perfect place for her to go. I absolutely adored Stevie as a character. I think she's so interested in like her mind is just brilliant and I am so happy that she has been brought into my life. I feel like Maureen Johnson did a brilliant job in portraying Stevie who is a character who has a anxiety disorder and I think there's a brilliant representation of someone who has anxiety and I think she shows like the struggles of it really well so bravo Maureen bravo I don't think there's one character who I didn't like in this book like they're all so amazing and so funny and especially her two best friends Janelle and Nate Janelle was texting me. Janelle is a black girl who has a interest in engineering and robotics and I feel like a lot more YA books need to have that representation of people of colour especially like I know it's always been important but especially now with all the Black Lives Matter movement and all the things that are going on in the world I think more than ever it's important to find characters like that and this book does it perfectly and there is also Nate oh my god Nate is my spirit animal I love him he's so funny and apathetic he is not interested in anything at all <laughs> it's so funny the only reason he has come to Ellingham is because he wrote a best-selling novel and he hates writing and <laughs> it's just so funny and although he is very apathetic he is always there for Stevie and honestly I need a friendship by like Nate and Stevie's because their friendship is honestly the best and uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail but the second book you get even more of their friendship and I love it. There is a dual timeline in this book which I absolutely loved so there's the timeline of present day, we don't really know when present day is so like I'm just saying it's now but uh, it is Stevie's perspective and she's out there trying to solve the case and then there's also the perspective from 1936 onwards to about when is it I forget the set like when it's two um, I believe it was 1938 so there's a two-year uh, gap so it jumps forward and backwards throughout that timeline there are also experts from the case so there's investigation reports and sections from like news articles that I wrote about the case and I loved those bits I found them so interesting to read about I absolutely adore this mystery I love how there's so many twists and turns to this book and I found it so in interesting and uh, just literally words cannot describe how much I loved this book and I definitely see all the hype around it um, there are there's romance murder mystery <laughs> there's just everything that I love is in this book and the next book that I have I gave 3.5 stars and it is Leah on the offbeat this book is a spin-off slash sequel to Homan Homan <laughs> to Simon vs the Homo Sapiens Agenda slash Love Simon if you've seen the film, which is a brilliant film by the way. One of my favourite films. 
if I'm being honest. This book follows Leah Burke and takes place a couple of months after Simon vs the Homo Sapiens Agenda uh, leaves us. So I believe it's like two months after, I can't really remember. It has a lot of Simon's story webbed into it which I found really interesting because we got to see spoilers i'm sure everyone's seen or read the book it shows us more of simon and bram's relationship which is just adorable i love them i just want to put them in a little glass jar and squish them but <laughs> i don't know what that was but yeah i love simon and bram and their friendship with leah is just heartwarming i love them so the main character leah is a tough cookie on the outside but on the inside she is riddled with anxiety and has a lot of body issues <laughs> I relate and she has a very close knit friendship group but as prom gets closer and colleges are being decided the friendship group starts to drift apart and break and crumble and it is all very sad but that seems to happen a lot in f high school friendship groups especially and there's just a lot of drama and stress and it is shown a lot in this book. Leah also has a really good friendship with her mum and her mum is the only person who Leah has come out to as bisexual. She has tried to tell Simon, who is openly gay, a number of times but she just hasn't found the right words and throughout the book you can see her trying to trying to accept her sexuality and it, I feel like it's a really good representation of that. As a whole, I found Leah quite annoying. Like, she's not the best narrator she's really whiny and there's one point in the book where another character comes out to her as bisexual i think and she dismisses it and i just i didn't like that part i was like no leah you you can't do that to someone you can't decide on their sexuality but she didn't really apologize for this after like she just kind of scooted around the subject like she was mad at the person who who came out to her but she didn't really say sorry and then like in a couple of weeks later friends again and I just um, I didn't really like that part of the book but other than that I really enjoyed this uh Leah as much as she is annoying she is really funny like she has a dry sense of humor which is brilliant and she's really sarcastic but no one else really gets her sarcasm and it is great and yeah i i really enjoyed this book and lastly i have the vanishing stare which is the sequel to tree devious i don't really want to say too much about this because i don't want to give away spoilers to the first book but oh my god i didn't think it was possible but i enjoyed this book even more than i enjoyed the first one i gave it five stars <laughs> that's when you know i've enjoyed this book it was a bit slow starting but once the story got rolling oh my god <gasps> the, oh. i literally can't describe how much i love this book like it, especially in the last 150 pages it was just drama after drama after secrets and i was just oh. i literally read it almost in one sitting because I just couldn't stop and it is amazing. This book literally takes place straight after the first book as well which I really enjoyed because the first book left us on such a massive cliffhanger I'm glad that this book took off straight away because I don't think my heart could have handled not knowing what happened. The characters in this book also progress really well like the storylines unravel even more and I'm currently reading the third book and oh my god I think I might give that five stars as well because boy oh boy is it drama filled and I am here for it. We also get more of Stevie and Nate's cute little friendship and I love it. So that is all the books that I read over the past month. Uh, I think I'm going to be doing these monthly but they're not going to be like wrap up videos because I don't know I'm not really good to stick in schedules so if I do recent reads it means that it's not really a scheduled video but I'm trying to trick my mind into it you know just just ignore me 
Uh, let me know if you have read any of these books because I would love to discuss them down below. Especially if anyone has read the Truly Devious uh, series, I need to talk to someone about them because they are so good. I uh, hope you have all enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed because we are so close to 400 subscribers. Like, how am I here? It is insane and I am very grateful. I will see you all very soon with another video.